Josh, what a game ended, you know, 3-1 in favour of Arsenal. Uh, did you really see that coming after Arsenal went down? Uh, that goal, you know, conceded in the, in the second half? Yeah, well, you know one thing, my brother, I mean, you know, I was predicting 3-0 for this because as we were playing Southampton, I was predicting, yeah, 3-0. But Southampton that scored one, man, the second half was was, was uh, poorly, like literally. When I, when, I, when I look at Southampton score, I'm like, I just shook my head. I said, nah, 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 nah. They don't expect this to happen, yeah? I heard fans, yeah, raging, like, you know, cussing. But I said to myself, nah, I've gone past that. Let me, let me just take my time and support the team. And I knew, yeah, players like, you know, yeah, Havertz, Martinelli, that score. But I think Martinelli has to be the most, my outstanding player that I saw that did the most out there. And he saved the day of, like, you know, today's also game against Southampton. So one thing I want to, like, analyse here is that at times in life, like, when, when you're, when, let's just say, I, I was watching Saka. Saka is playing at right. He's moving with the ball, yeah? Clear it, in, clear it to whoever's in the box, yeah? And then watch when the ball is coming to you, Henry. And this Gabriel Jesus did that, yeah? But, and then when I saw the ball going to Harvest, yeah? Harvest didn't shoot in time, but at least he still scored, though. But I mean, in the first half, though, Harvest didn't shoot in time. So, one thing I do realise is that the only reason why Southampton is considered a goal, because literally, they allowed David Wright to do all the work. I was literally saying, defenders need to get back and get back and get back. If there's a defender there, let's just say, you could just slide tackle the ball like that, the ball's out of the way, bam. They won't even score, but they will know the finish to track back. That is why they scored. But you know what? I said to myself, I said, one one before I even knew it. It will be two one, three one. Good win today. And I'm telling you, like you see with this performance, yeah. If we carry on like this throughout the whole of this season, where we're gonna like, you know, this could be this season could be our moment. Because listen, I I was watching Arsenal PSG. Yeah, we've been PSG. We've we've like bridged the gap on City after 2017. You know, we had Wenger, and the last time we played PSG in the Champions League was 2017. Yeah, it's been over six years now. So seven, or, seven years ago, when we were playing BSG, so 2017 that we lost, we beat PSG, beat Southampton, yeah? After, like, you know, when we went to Etihad and we still pushed that gap for City, even though we didn't beat City at Etihad, mm -hmm. still, we, we had to, like, literally fight for it in these upcoming games. And just to say that, as, as we're going into international break, yeah? After international break, we should, like, at least... I've been saying this, that like, even though we, we still want to win the league, we can still try and win the league, but if we want to win big things like Champions League as well, we need a striker. Like you see, with that sort of like the way it's done, scored. I don't know where the I don't know where they were defenders, but we still need a striker. Man. Kai Havert has been terrific this season. Every game he has played this season in the Premier League, he has actually not scored a goal. So why do you say he need another striker? Well, because one thing I've heard fans say is spreading rumors saying get a striker if you want to win the Champions League. I want to win Champions League, not just the league, Champions League as well. And that's why I'm saying get a striker. But listen, going on to the games, Arsenal game, yeah, Kai Havers did well. Like, listen, I'm not, I have no agenda on Kai Havers yet. I know he was terrible in the beginning of last season, but this guy has really improved. And I'm really proud that Mikel Arteta knows when to put him at midfield along with Deco Rice. Mm. Because this, I, I always go there and say I predict Havers to score. Or Saka to score. Mm. Saka may have not scored, but one of my predictions was right. Mm. I said, Havertz scored. What happened? He scored. Mm. So, 60 million down the drain, Kaiva scores again. Mm. What well, can you say the performance of uh, Bukayo Saka? You know, over the news uh, before this game, we've been seeing a lot of, you know, treaties that uh, Bukayo Saka is not world class. What can you say about that? Well, who, who says Saka is not world class? <laughs> my brother, who says Saka is not world class? Of mm. course he's world class. Like, come on. For any of you also fans, yes, yeah, Saka is world class. Look at the way he played, all the skills that he did from side to side. Are you going to say Saka's not world class because of one thing? He did not score today. It doesn't matter. Saka's still skillful. Saka, yeah, is very, very skillful. He like he's world class. Today. Yeah, he, yeah, and the, the, the crosses that he did. What a ball, I'm telling you. Mm. Yeah. Of course. What could you say about the return of uh, Aaron Ramsey to the Emirates Stadium? Uh, uh, no, Aaron Ramsdale, you mean? Yeah. yeah, listen, you know, with Aaron Ramsdale, yeah, I wasn't like, you know, I have too much, like, you know, pressure. or I, I, There's no point cussing on Aaron Ramsdale because he's in Southampton. Yeah? When he comes back to the Emirates Stadium, yeah, I think what we as fans did, even I did it, I had to give, like, you know, Aaron Ramsdale a bit of respect, saying, like, Ramsdale, welcome back to the Emirates, yeah? So, just to say, Ramsdale, good to see you back at the Emirates, yeah? I know it's a shameful thing that, you know, your team lost, but I know maybe Southampton wanted him because when you were screening our team, but literally he started, like, you know, didn't go keeping well. Mm -hmm. David Raya, yeah, mm -hmm. when he was still in Arsenal Football Club last season, we were saying David Raya go keep throughout the whole of last season. Mm -hmm. David Raya saves more shots, yeah? Mm -hmm. That guy's still a beast. I like the way he go keeps nowadays, and it's really good. But listen, after the international break, mm -hmm. 
We're going to Bournemouth. Let's keep this pace going. I, I, I'm confident for this season and I'm still born ready to go for Arsenal to win the league this season. All right? I want to see Arsenal win something here this season. So come on, you Gunners. Thank you so much, Josh.